There's something about the event Portuguese Empire Crumbles that just feels so mid-war. The Soviets are certainly happy to see it, but what about for the American player? Is this event as bad as it seems? We will take a look at that today, here on Legendary Tactics. Portuguese Empire Crumbles is an event that is part of the Soviet strategy to get into and to try to dominate Africa. Certainly, the American player won't like this card, but for the Soviet player, is it worth taking this event? Let's examine it more closely. First of all, let's take a look at the card. Portuguese Empire Crumbles is a starred Soviet 2-op mid-war event. Triggering the event automatically adds two Soviet influence in both the Southeast African states and Angola. For the USSR, this is a perfectly acceptable event, especially if the US managed to bury destalinization and decolonization on you using a space race or some other mechanism. Essentially, this is a card that can help give you access to Africa without having to coup, and is only one of two cards to specifically do so, the other being South African unrest. Adding influence directly has the advantage of placing influence without worrying about the additional cost of placing influence where an opponent has pre-existing control. So it can potentially flip Angola for you regardless of DEFCON restrictions. So therefore you can generally view it as being worth five ops in total. I suppose if the US controls Southeast African states for some reason, it would have a potential value of six operations points. Even though this event has a fair amount of value in terms of straight operations points, especially if you find yourself under red scare slash purge, I would say that it's generally better for the US player to have to play this event for you. If you think about it, the really valuable part of this event is the influence placed in Angola, a battleground country. If you have access to Angola already, it is better to just place the influence there directly using the operations value of the card, which then keeps this event in the deck for later. While Southeast African States is potentially useful in adding to your controlled country count for the purpose of domination or control, it's not typically played into by either player, aside from this event. If you have the influence to spare, it can give you access to some reasonably stable African non-battleground countries, or other important ones like Zimbabwe, which can help in potentially realigning Zaire. The downside is always that non-battleground countries provide coup targets for a mill-op hungry US player. This card is an okay headline for the Soviet player if there really is no other great option, or if the African scoring card is potentially coming up soon and you need to get a head start in jockeying for position in the region. From the perspective of the US player, this is not a tremendously difficult event to work around. If you already control Angola, you can mitigate a lot of the damage by playing the two operations points as influence into that country before the event happens. This maintains your control. If you don't control Angola yet, you can play Portuguese Empire Crumbles later in the turn after you have had a chance to place some influence there. As mentioned earlier, Southeast African states are not typically crucial to either player's plans in the region of Africa. You may want to send this card to space to delay the Soviet entrance into Africa if they are not already there. Or you can control some neighboring countries to realign the USSR out of at least Angola with the operations points provided by this event card. So in summary, this is a middling event for the Soviets, but potentially useful in providing access to Africa and or control of Angola, which is a pretty crucial battleground state in the region. And for the US player, you can generally work around it pretty easily, if not to keep the Soviet player completely out of Africa, then to at least maintain control of Angola and therefore make it easier to preserve your influence in South Africa. 
This has been our analysis of the Portuguese Empire Crumbles card in Twilight Struggle. We hope you got some value out of this video, and if you did, please take a moment to like and subscribe or even comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you here next time on Legendary Tactics.